right, fat assassins, welcome to our all new 20 minute tummy tuck. Completely non-invasive, all right? You're gonna start in forearm plank, securing your belly in, working on that core. Let's go. All right, forearms down, fingers together, squeeze your belly in, right leg all the way back. Pull your belly in so much that when you shoot your left leg back, you're completely supported. Engage your glutes, shift your weight slightly forward, all right? So you wanna think of having your shoulders in line with your elbows or even sli slightly forward. You don't wanna be here, okay? It puts too much pressure on your lower back and we really wanna dig into your lower belly. Just holding here, really sort of warming up instantly, firing up your entire body. Squeeze your glutes, feel your inner thighs engaging. Pull that lower belly all the way in. Beautiful, Tasia. Squeeze your glutes a little more. Yes. Hold. Inhale a little deeper. Feel your neck elongating, your shoulders pressing back and your belly securing in. Now, lower your right knee and straighten. Lower your left knee and straighten. And feel what you need to engage, right? What you need to engage, keep on going, to really dig into those lower abs. Do you have to start engaging your side abs? Do you have to start pulling your glutes in a little more? Just touch to the ground. Don't rest any weight on it. Left and straighten, double time, here we go. Right, left, right, left. Again, stabilizing your core so much that as you're doing this, we're just digging into the inner thigh and the core. Now hold, forearm plank for eight, seven, six, we're almost there, five, three, four, three, two, and one, rest in child's pose for a second. You see how even just that little exercise really sort of is explosive. Reach all the way back, now go into proper plank. Palms into the ground, right leg back, left leg back. Squeeze your glutes again. Holding, engaging your torso, engaging your glutes. Shift your weight a little more forward, about two more inches, yes. Now squeeze your belly in, big inhale. Now raise your right leg. Lift it up, 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 and touch the ground. Now the left. Up, 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 touch the ground. Stabilizing your core. Up, 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 touch the ground. And left. Now double time, go right, touch, left, touch, squeeze. Try not to make any noise as you lower your feet as well. It sort of forces you to engage your core. Even more. Four more, here we go. Four. Three. Two. One more take. One. Child's pose. These exercises are so deceiving. Because looking at them, it looks rather basic and easy, but putting them all together, that's where you start assassinating the fat, okay? Forearm plank, here we go. Clasp your fingers together again. Right leg back, left leg back. This time you're gonna touch your right hip all the way down to the ground and lift up. Touch to the left and lift. It's rather slow so you can really start carving and sculpting that lower half. Touch and lift and left. Now double time. Here we go, right, left, right, left, squeeze. You get as low as you possibly can. Four, three, two, and one. Child's pose, one more time. Touch your toes, knees apart. We're taking a few more child's poses in this series than we normally do so we can really Elongate your muscles in between all of the contracting and engaging, all right? Go back into proper plank. Hold all the way up, squeeze your horn tight. Then you're gonna bring your knee into your opposite chest, all right? To your right and back. 
to the left. Left. And back. And squeeze. And back. And left. And back. Double time. Go right. Left. Right. Really pulling in the lower belly always, but especially essential right now. Four, three, two, and one. Back to child's pose. Feel that change? Lower all the way back. Big inhale. Now back to forearm plank. Here we go. Clasp your fingers together. Here we go. And lift, lift, lift. Now you're gonna lower both knees and press. Lower and press and lower and press. Squeeze up and really pulling in your lower belly, yes. Now you also feel how you're engaging your glutes as you straighten your legs. Lower and straighten and lower and straighten double time, eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, push through. Three, two, one, child's pose, yes. Toes together, knees apart, beautiful. Reach all the way back. Take a big inhale. Go back to a forearm plank, but this time on your side, okay? So your left palm is gonna go into the ground. The side of your left foot is gonna flex. Hip is lifted. Your right foot is on your left as well, all right? Palm on your right hip. Inhale all the way up. Squeeze and lower to the ground. Up, up, up. Lower. Really engaging the side out all the way through. And lift, 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 lower. If you need, you can grab here just to sort of stabilize your core. Double time. Up, up, up. And the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. Four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Inhale. Also, really utilizing these child's poses to open up to reach your arms out, to really find space in all of your joints as well. Other side, to the right. Hold it all the way up. Inhale, engaging your entire body. A little higher, Tasia, yes. Now a little higher, squeeze, 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 and lower. And up, 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 and lower. And squeeze up and down. And up, up, up. Now double time. Here we go. We go up, 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 up. Eight, seven, higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose, beautiful. Toes together, knees apart. Breathe, reach. Pulling your lower belly all the way in. As you exhale, reach your palms even further. This time you're gonna go into a downward dog, lifting your toes, pressing all the way back, finding length, finding your support. Reach forward to plank. Inhale, squeeze. Now shift forward to chaturanga. We're just squeezing your elbows into your rib cage. Now go all the way forward, upward dog. Inhale, back to chaturanga. Press all the way up to plank. And downward dog. Make your way on your back right now. Squeezing your lower belly in. Reaching your heels into the ground. Toes all the way up to the ceiling. Belly securing in. Arms all the way up. Spread your fingers wide and slowly lower. On an inhale. Now bring it up. Inhale. Now really try to Squeeze your heels into the ground. Lower all the way back again. Exhale. Now as you raise it up, keep your heels in the ground. It better, 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 better. Now try not to use your hands. One more time. It takes work. It takes practice. But the more you do this, 
the better. Really use this inhale now, as you inhale, to lift up. Feel that? It makes it easier, it makes it more effective. All right, lower all the way back again. On an exhale. It's interesting because we're really going back to basics today. On the inhale, go all the way up. Yes. And that's how you work every fiber of your core, ultimately. One more, on the inhale. Look at that. So much better, all the way back. Exhale, slowly. Now just touch your, yes, right there, hold. You're touching the top of your shoulder blade into the ground. Reach forward, relax your neck, and pump up. Here we go, squeeze. Think of hollowing out your lower belly. So it's less, you wanna think less engaging it or crunching it. You really wanna think scooping, all right? Scooping in and up. Hands behind your head, right leg up. Now left leg up. Right leg, here we go. Squeeze. Left leg. Now raise your right leg and circle. As you lift your upper half slightly. Reverse. Other side. We circle round. Reverse. Now make sure you're engaging your lower belly here. Now just pump it up, up, reach. Now reach your right leg all the way up, touch your ankle and lower. Stay on this side. You can reach your right arm out, touching the ground, but not really putting any weight on it. Just to stabilize slightly. Raise your leg a little higher. And you should be literally pinching that lower right. Now to the left. Keep going, squeeze, touch, reach. Really use the length of your arm as well. One more. Now pump it up and reach, up. We return back to this slight pump. Four, three, Two, now reach your right heel onto the ground. Reach your left into attitude, bent. Turn it in and reach it in and extend. Reach it in and extend, bringing your elbows into your knee. Exhale and reach. Really doing this slowly so you can dig as deep as possible into your core. You feel that, Tasia? Double time. Here we go. In, reach, in, squeeze. Four, three, two, other side, here we go. In, 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 and reach. Exhale. <sighs> 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 
this whole exercise today is one of those that sort of sneaks up on you. Double time, right? In, reach. Four, three, two, and one. Heels down into the ground, lift your hips all the way up, squeezing your glutes together, engaging your core, holding all the way up. Big inhale. Now squeeze your thighs together and pulse up. Here we go. Up, up. Yes, we're working our glutes. Yes, we're working our inner thighs, but we are still working your core. Always. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. Now slowly lower. As you lower, bring your right knee into your chest. Exhale, reach your left leg a few inches above the ground, straightening it. And exhale and lift, curling your spine. Pull yourself in and switch. Now really use this in-between action of moving your legs is completely directed by your core. Switch, exhale. You feel that? So it's less about pulling your knee in and more about your core really doing the work. Your arms are basically there to stabilize, but it's all about your core. Use your inhale as well. Inhale and exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale, switch. You feel that? Inhale right here. Exhale and switch. Another tip is to really think of relaxing your, your neck. These are sort of simple, fundamental things that will change your alignment, change the way you work out, change the way your body looks in a completely naturalistic, and whole way. It's all about functionality, baby, at the end of the day. One more on each side. Exhale to the left. Now extend your left leg all the way up. All the way up, pull your belly in, and switch. Finding the stretch, but also working on your core. Two more. One more. Now both legs up. On an inhale, heels together, flexing and turning it out. Hands behind your head, slowly lower, slow. Now raise it all the way up. And lower. And up. If you need to put your hands under your butt, totally fine. Exhale, squeezing in. And in, now pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, heels down again, now lift up to bridge. Hold. Palms down, you're gonna pulse up for eight again. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, now squeeze, hold. Up, two, three, as hard as you can. Now slowly lower, and one last time. Bring your knees into your chest. Forehead close to your knee as much as you can. Lift all the way up. Hands behind your head. Turn it out, flex, and lower. Hold here, now pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull it in, yes. Big exhale, roll onto your belly. 
Palms on either side of your chest. Elbows all the way back, press up slowly. That was your 20 minute tummy tuck, all right? How do you feel, Zaj? Very good. Reach all the way back, toes together, knees apart. Big inhale, reaching for as much space as possible. Reach back to downward dog on an inhale. Exhale. Look forward, walk your feet to your hands. Lower and plie, shake your head no. Nod your head, yes. And slowly roll all the way up, pulling your lower belly all the way in, shoulders back, and you're ready for your day. Thank you so much. Join us at kinetic.com. Check out my videos whenever you want. See you soon. See you next week. Bye, guys.